I'm working with the low to medium hold thermal protection hairspray section by section just to make sure that I'm locking in these curls. To start these curls, you want to start closer to the root and give it one rotation around the iron. Then you can start to twist your wrist and your iron coming down through the ends and then smoothing the ends. So now when I get to this top area, I can start to alternate some of my sections as well. As you may have noticed, I've been curling the entire hairline away from the face. You want to make sure you're not curling toward the face because that's going to push that hair forward. We want to push it back. And again, here at the top, we want to alternate a few going through the top, but always the hairline going away from the face. So I'm gonna be styling my client today in the opposite direction in which I prepped it. This is gonna allow for a lot more lift, as you can see, even just taking a few of these curls, bringing them to the other side, I get a lot of lift here at the root. Because I don't really have enough length to work with here in the nape, I'm gonna leave some of that straight, but I will take some small sections and just use the end of the curling iron to just create a little bit of movement. If you create too much movement, it'll create too much volume in the back. This technique does take a little bit of practice, so just remember to start your curl about one rotation, start twisting out, working down the hair strand, twisting the iron and your wrist all at the same time. So really just work on creating that curl, twisting the iron and your wrist all at the same time while working down the hair shaft till all the way to the end. Once you're finished the curling process, you can go back through, take large sections, and just use the curve of your iron, not to straighten, but just to smooth those ends a little bit so it looks nice and polished. When finishing curls like this, I usually work with my hands because I can actually feel the fabric of the hair. You could, in some cases, work with a brush, like a cushion brush, but just remember that you're not gonna see a lot of these highs and lows that you still see just from working through with my fingers. I'm gonna be working with our volumizing powder today to finish our style. It provides three times the volume and style longevity for up to 72 hours. It's a water encapsulated powder that breaks upon application, so it makes it really, really workable. It's great when you're styling for volume and also amazing for updates. My client today has medium density, so I'm working with about a two inch subsection. If she had low density, I may work with a slightly larger subsection. And if she had a high density, I might work with about a one inch subsection. And apply about two pumps of the volumizing powder and then massage that into the root area. By massaging as you go, it really works to activate the product. So now that I've finished applying all the volumizing powder, it's important to remember to go in and just give it one last massage rubbing in all different directions because that's what will give it the most undone and natural looking effect. Now when I flip it in the opposite direction, it's gonna give me that maximum amount of lift because of the way the root is going plus the application of the volumizing powder. You can see that if I need to lock in that volume or create more volume, I can go in again and just massage that root area a little bit more and it creates that separation but also that lift here in the front. So now I'm gonna give her a deep side part which will really show off the volume that we're creating here in the front of the hair. Again, you don't wanna work with combs, you don't wanna work with brushes, just really working with your fingers. To make my client's hair look like it's uniquely hers, one little detail that I always love to add is just to take the side, tuck it behind the ear, and maybe just leave a little piece out in the front. Again, if I see any flatter areas, I can go through, massage, that'll activate that volumizing powder and really just give that lift again. To finish this look, I'm gonna work with my Volume Spray 25. This is a great way to finish off a voluminous look.
I hope you enjoyed learning how to create this look with Volumizing Powder 14 today. Make sure to check back for more educational content. Thank you.